Tell me what you see in me Gotta be something different You must be made for me patient I've been on top for a while Now it's time to the moon Fast time ain't gon' run, run Take it to the boom, boom, boom I'm a visionary, I got the niggas scared mm. Bought a big paddock with a brand new red set mm. Inside a new Maybach coupe and a butter jelly Mm -hmm. I'm sliding the road, sliding the lemon, sliding the bin. Been working on my confidence. And respect, I get a lot of it. Good morning, y'all. So, my name is Alexis the MP. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today is Sunday. So, I am finally settled in into my apartment. Uh, I need to go get some groceries. So, right now, I'm about to shower. Uh, wash my face, brush my teeth, start getting ready, and head out to the grocery store so a girl can eat because I ain't nothing in this house, y'all. So stay tuned and I'm gonna bring you all along with me. I know, I know, I know that you're drunk. Yeah. Tell me what you want at the store. You know you're nasty. You know you're nasty. Over out of my house, try to taxi. All right, so I am all dressed. Just a quick, simple outfit, white tank, some sweat shorts, um, little cute white sandals, just to run to the grocery store. Get into the frames though. I love these from Z Lul. If you're looking for prescription eyewear, that's definitely uh, high fashion. You know, can go with different outfits. For all my four-eyed baddies out there, Z Lul is that girl, trust. All right, so we're out. Y'all, it's a little nippy. I have today, it's like 50s. I'm from Florida, Tampa. Well, I'm from Jacksonville. But I live in Tampa. Tampa be 80, 90 degrees, pushing 100 some days. So, 50 is cold to me. So I have on a jacket, okay? I, I don't do too good with the cow. Just hung up the phone at night. Could already tell that you come here home intoxicated. So Alright y'all. I'm hot. <laughs> okay, so grocery store boxes. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Cause, you know i'm in a very rural area so i didn't think i was gonna have many options i mean it is the only grocery store in town um however it's not bad like it it's pretty equipped with you know up-to-date things i don't know what i was thinking y'all but it's really not bad it was a good experience uh i need to go fill up now because being out here with no gas is a no-no for me you know, in the city, you can do that. I'm not pushing close to E here uh, just because it's very scarce. So I'm gonna go fill up and on our way back home, cook me a little bit of breakfast and kind of chill out for the rest of the Sunday. And then uh, kind of prepare mentally for tomorrow with orientation. Wouldn't even talk to me. No. Say, say, I'm so crazy, baby. I'm so crazy. I wanted you to.
y'all so i'm checking in still doing orientation um it's basically like a self-guided uh orientation in a sense basically having me run around and checking in with different departments like hr type stuff to get me situated so i am making my way making my rounds but just wanted to check in and let y'all know what's, what's up made it back that's my microwave so i made it back to my apartment um so the facility closes from 12 to 1 like completely closes except for like emergency room urgent care um those areas are still open but everybody pretty much leaves chill out go back to their homes or whatever for that hour so I decided to come back to my apartment, warm up my food and eat here. Uh, so, so far, so good. Like I really do love the facility. The people are so nice. Like everyone speaks. And I think that's so weird because that's not the nature uh, of the facilities that I've worked in in the past. So uh, it's very new, refreshing. Everyone's so welcoming, so warming. Um, everyone's telling me, different places of where to go and uh, what to try while I'm here, where to explore while I'm here, um, nearby, nearby towns and cities. So I love that for me. Like um, that's one thing I really should prayed about um, to really have a great supportive staff here and be surrounded by good people because I didn't want to be anywhere where, you know, full of negativity, can't stand it. So I'm really excited that most of the people here are so nice and so warm and so welcoming. Um, so that's been great. Like I said earlier, I've been doing a lot of HR stuff. Um, I had to do fingerprints. I had to check in with employee health for immunizations. I had to stop by housing just to uh, sign a few forms there. Um, I had to go into the pharmacy um, so that way we can go over controlled substance policies here, uh, since I am a provider who does prescribe a controlled schedule two uh, substances. So that's something that you kind of have to learn with different facilities. So um, it kept me up to date and kind of caught me up of how they operate because every facility is different. Um, every state is different as well. So um, I'm just kind of getting acclimated. I still have a few more things to finish up after lunch, but I'm going to eat now and then probably check back in with you all later today uh, just to kind of recap uh, of what took place this afternoon. So I will catch up with y'all later. Good morning. So I am now dressed. Today is day two. So I am currently just cleaning off my glasses and uh, about to head out. Uh, the headband had come out today because baby, my ears were hurting yesterday. So here they are still very strict about masks. Um, N95 plus shields, face shields have to be worn in rooms uh, with all patient contact as well. 
So my ears took a toll on me yesterday, but today uh, the headbands are out. It's definitely about to be headband and scrub cap season because I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> a little bit different i'm just getting off work on the way home and yeah i'm probably gonna go in here shower eat and chill out for the rest of the day because they be working your girl and it doesn't help that this mask and shield has to be on 24 7 over there like they be killing my throat bring my good skincare stuff out here because i was like i don't want to lose it i ain't gonna need it nah baby i need it i think i missed my turn y'all talking to y'all yeah let me turn it here too sir <laughs> that man probably mad at me whatever but yeah i ain't bring none of my skincare stuff and i already see my skin is not doing well out here because it's dry out here. It be cold in the mornings, so my skin be super dry. Then it warm up in the evenings. And I have like combination skin, so I be trying to combat the dryness by putting some oil, but then as it warms up, I'm too oily and now I feel like my pores are clogged, so I don't know. And I did not bring like none of my skincare stuff, like mask or anything like that. So I'm probably gonna have to go out of town because there ain't nothing here. We ain't got. You know, I think Walmart is like an hour away. Okay, so I'm gonna have to find me something, very much something for my face. Cause what they're not about to do out here is mess up my face. Like I, mm -mm. work too hard for this skin. Okay. Period. Okay. So I'm gonna go inside, shower, and then catch up with y'all later. Another day. So I just got off. I'm still in the parking lot, but about to go on back to the apartment. So. Today was real slow for me, like, let me back up, I can't talk to y'all, back up, I'm in these people running, and these people all parked behind me, and the real, the real ones know about me, but me, I am not the driver in the friend group. Okay, so yeah, today was a little slow for me because... You know, um, some of the patients have preferred people they would like to speak with. And since I'm new, I don't have that rapport um, with a lot of the patients just yet. And so, um, my phone consults have not been like huge in numbers. But I made it work. Listen to a few podcasts got some other work done so no biggie definitely not complaining when it's slow because when things pick up and it's busy it's busy so definitely not complaining about that um my meal prep kind of cut short 
so I gotta go home and cook. I think I'm gonna cook me some shrimp tacos tonight. And then, um, relax for the evening. We'll see if the shrimp can thaw out real quick. Cause I'm not trying to be waiting all night. Cause I'm hungry. Like even though I ate at 12, I'm hungry. So, Hope the shrimp does not take too long for me to for them to die. But yeah, y'all. So that was pretty much my little day in a nutshell. I hope y'all are really enjoying this. Cause let me tell y'all something, and I, and I gotta tell y'all this probably in another video, like going to detail, but. I am not that girl who comes out of her shell. Like, a lot of my friends know I'm very reserved. So, me doing this and feeling myself and speaking to you all is definitely different. It's taking me out of my comfort zone. I mean, this, even this, this traveling, this is out of my comfort zone. But I'm liking it. And I'm finding that me trying new things out of your comfort zone and maybe something that you really really enjoy and like I may be sleeping on a talent so why not try it right so that's what I'm doing y'all so I really hope y'all are enjoying the content that's being brought to you all I have so many exciting things at least in my head that I want to bring so hopefully it comes across on camera that y'all are enjoying me <laughs> And um, hopefully it's received well. before it's like an hour away because I need to this right here I told y'all my skin not doing well that right there gotta go so I, I want to assume that I can find some sort of facial mask or something like a detoxifying mask uh, at Walmart to really include into my wash and clean routine uh, while I'm here so I'm gonna try to find something like that maybe like some pimple patches as well I don't know so I have a few things that I need to pick up from Walmart so I'll probably drive over there I need to go to the post office too because I want like a little P.O. box while I'm here just so you know I'm gonna test it and see if I can get Amazon Prime so <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's a thing out here, but I need my Amazon stuff. And, like, if I want something mailed to me, like, I need to be able to have a physical address of where I can have it mailed. So, um, the housing department gave me a lease so that way I can go to the post office to see if I can get at least, like, a P.O. box. So that's what I'm going to try to do this weekend. Uh, I'll be on phones for the first half of the morning. And then in the afternoon, I'll be in clinic. So first day with patients on my own. So I'm excited for that. 
we'll see how that goes. Niggas know they need to stop. I'm standing at the top, that's how I know you never seen the top. Sierra King parking lot, looking like that in city parking lot. Hit the talks when I walk by, like you know it's open when you drop, hey, drop. Yeah, and I'm coming with the wop. Y'all niggas not popping. Fuck it, and she going shopping. Well, I'm running out of ops. Yeah, running out of options. Put them up for adoption. Sign my name on the dot. Good morning. So today is Saturday. Um, I have completed my first week. I was supposed to go to the post office this morning. However, it's not open. So I'll probably have to go maybe Monday if they're not closed for Memorial Day. Who knows? Um, now I need to go to Walmart. So Walmart is about an hour and a half away in Gallup, New Mexico. That's the nearest Walmart. So I'm about to take this drive. Just wanted to stop in and do a quick little outfit of the day. Uh, so shirt is from Shein. It's old, but I'm probably sure it's still up there. These bottoms, these are from Fashion Nova. It is from a set, like a little lounge set. I don't know if they still have it, but check it out. See if they do. Um, I brought my Vans out here. These are the only tennis shoes, like, style of tennis shoes that I brought some Vans. Because they have dust storms out here. And, <laughs> baby, imagine bringing a pair of white forces out here and getting them dirty in some dust. I'll be pissed. So, Vans it is, okay? So, we're about to run out. Take this little drive, and I'll check in once I'm in Gallup. I'm in the bank to get for you. I'm in New York on John Chesh. Supermodels in the yard sex. Lock the door to the bathroom. Cause they doing something that is not Pepsi. I'm just pouring up shots. I remember that I told you I missed it. I was kind of like a mass text. I remember that I just left from out of Starbucks. I grabbed me my ice cream matcha. So this one I like in mine. I usually do um, the ice cream matcha with oat milk, two pumps of brown sugar syrup, one shot of espresso and vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top. So don't say I ain't never telling y'all nothing because this hit every time. Um, I also got me a little piece of banana nut loaf bread. Um, just a little snack before I'm running to Walmart. I may try to stop by their local flea market here if I'm not too long in Walmart. Um, just they say, you know, it's a nice cultural experience and they have a lot of the local and native food there, which I do want to try. So I may stop by there if it doesn't get too dark because it still is, you know, an hour and a half away back home. And I'm already not a comfortable driver at nighttime, but driving in these mountains, baby, that is a no-go for me. So if it starts to get too late and knowing i gotta make this hour and a half drive back to where i need to be um we'll do the flea market another weekend i know that i hurt you yeah to so all my sons worldwide all my juniors i apologize for my absence i know i left you without a name to drop I don't know how I expected you to get your cloud up and get your money up, but don't worry. Daddy's home. Turn me up. Yeah. Niggas know they need to stop. I'm standing at the top. That's how I know you never seen the top. Sierra King parking lot looking like that. The city parking lot. The talks when I walk by, like you know it's open when you drop, hey, drop, yeah, and I'm coming with the wop, y'all niggas not poppin', fuck it and she going shopping. well, I'm running out of ops, yeah, running out of options, put them up for adoption, sign my name on the dot, this is not love, baby, this no four leaf, no horseshoe, I'm in the bank to get poor you, I'm in New York on John Chetri, supermodels in the yard sex. What's up, y'all? So I made it back into the apartment. Um, I'm gonna do like a quick little haul just to show y'all what I got from Walmart. Nothing too major. I picked up a few sparkling waters because I don't like to consume a lot of juice, um, but I do like some flavor sometimes. So sparkling water is my go-to. I picked up a shower liner just because the liner here, I, I'm very finicky. I don't like using stuff that's being used. So I've been getting the floor wet for this past week. 
So it was imperative for me to pick up a shower liner. So that's that. Just got some storage bags because I needed those. Um, let's see. I got some glasses cleaner because I was running out. Y'all look what I found. I should have known they had this here. The Indian clay mask and I got the apple cider vinegar to go with it. So hopefully I can get rid of all these spots that I have on my face. All right, next thing. So I've been seeing everyone talk about Taraji P. Henson's body exfoliator or like body polish. So I picked that up. Um, and it smells really, really good. Got some more mouthwash just so I don't run out. I needed some nail polish remover. My nails are going through it. I took my acrylics off uh, just because I can't have any nails out here. And I've been trying to keep them maintained with like um, the nail hardener, but they are so brittle. So I'm gonna have to uh, take the old nail hardener off and kind of buff them down and reshape and polish them again. Uh, I got me a little ring light for my phone because I didn't bring none of my ring lights out here. I got me some skin tag remover patches. So I have a few skin tags on me that cosmetically I do not like. You know, they don't bother me, but I just don't think they're cute. So I want to remove them. So I'm going to try these. Uh, I got me some baby wipes. I like using these in the restroom. I got me some eyebrow razors because I did not have time to get my brows threaded or waxed before I left. Let's see. I got me some lot of body foam. I need this for my hair. Um, I also got me some beet and carrot juice. Love this for breakfast time. And then lastly, I went ahead and picked me up an iPad. So I'm gonna see if it's gonna be a little bit easier to edit videos on here versus like my phone and laptop because I've been having, like I said, a really hard time. So I'm excited to try this out. Hopefully it works. Um, I got the 256 gigabytes. So hopefully that's enough space. If not, I'll have my friend mail my hard drive out here. Um, so that way I can back stuff up or either use the cloud, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's it. Oh, no, no, no. Y'all, it was this guy outside of Walmart. He was selling like these little t-shirts. And I thought they were so cute and I wanted to support. Um, so it's from Life Changers Community Outreach Center. And it says, together changing lives through Jesus Christ. So they were like Christian based. And I thought they were so cute. All of the uh, shirts kind of were Christian based as well. Um, it says that they are an outreach center that is faith-based and is in a residential facility for men and women 18 and over to help them over overcome any kind of controlling issues such as addiction, alcohol, depression, anger, suicide. So how amazing is that? And they were only like two, four twenty, I think. So not bad. Again, look them up. He did say they are nationwide, so look them up. I am about to go get me something to eat. I have not had anything to eat besides my banana nut loaf bread, and I had some eggs this morning. So I'm pretty hungry. I'm finna go to churches. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm going to churches, but that's literally all I have, churches and Denny's. And I think they have a Burger King. And I don't like that. So I'll go to churches and get me something to eat right quick and then come back and chill out at the house. So I made it back to the apartment. Um, church's chicken was closed. So I ended up at Denny's. I got some nachos, buffalo bites, and a milkshake. The guy gave me two, so shout out to him. I wasn't gonna decline them, thank you. Um, but it'll have to do, it doesn't look the best, but it tastes all right. So I'll probably eat this, chill out for the rest of the evening. I wanna catch that Netflix show, um, Our Father, or the Netflix movie. 
that looks interesting. It looks disturbing for sure, but I gotta, I need to watch that. It, it looks interesting. So I'll probably tune into that and then chill out for the rest of the night. <laughs>